I beg your pardon, people. You wouldn't happen to have happened upon that man Lundy, would you? Yeah, you'll recognise him if you've seen him. He's probably all dressed in black with a big white fluffy collar on him. No? Although a jester's uniform would suit him better. Because the man's either a fool or a knave. Yes. I apologise for my agitation. I just returned from the Battle of Claddyford. If we don't get rid of this Lundy boy, he's going to have us all under the yoke of Hamilton or King James's other lackeys. The man's a coward. The man's nothing but a coward. Our worthy and esteemed governor, Lundy. He's a coward. As I was saying, I just returned from Claddyford, where we were at battle. And it was hard to tell when we were there who said Lundy was on, such was his inadequacy at leadership. And you know, during gunplay, you don't know whether it'd be ahead of him or behind him, such as his misuse of bullets. Although the man didn't really give us too many bullets. For the battle, he supplied us with three bullets each. Three bullets doesn't make for much of a battle in my eyes, which is the reason we had to make a retreat. And anybody that knows me will know that I don't make retreats. Apologies, I haven't even introduced myself. Adam Murray, Colonel Adam Murray, although I don't go by titles. You'll see by my attire that I am just returned from life. When we returned, what do we find at the city but the gates barred to us? Thank the apprentices and all that there, otherwise we'd have been up to our knees in red shanks. But we spent an unfortunate night of it camping at Brook Hall. So when we returned to the city this morning, we expected the gates to be opened. Unfortunately, they remained shut. And they were saying that I could get into the city by rope, with my men waiting outside, exposed to the elements and to the danger. I refused, and Morrison, like the good man that he is, Captain Morrison, opened the gate for us and let us in. So when we get in, what do I find? I approach the council chambers, and they're discussing terms for surrender. I was never as astounded in my whole life. There'll be no surrender here, not while Adam Murray has anything to do with it. I told them as much. That there's why it's such an imperative that we get this Lundy man out of the city, before he does something, or worse still, signs something, that'll leave us all under the yoke of that usurper, James. Them Jacobites will stoop to no nothing to relieve this city, or to break this siege. Do you know they offered me a thousand pounds to swap sides? And when I refused, they threatened to hang my father if he didn't encourage me to surrender. A man of 80 years of age. So, they go out of the city, out, a couple of miles out from the city to um, bring him to me to see if he could encourage me to surrender and what does he do? When he meets me at the gate he presses a bible in my hand and he says under no circumstances will you surrender to that usurper James. You see they're not used to us Presbyterians they've never met the likes of us before. But I need to get this man Lundy out of the city before he does more damage. If you see him tell him I went that way. And remember, no surrender. <laughs>